all know the name of the game in hunting is hurry up and wait. So that's just what we're going to do. We've had quite a few bird spottings around this area, and we're just waiting for the right bird to come along. That was a butterfly, not a bird. And so if we watch carefully, let's just watch. And if we watch, we can watch. We're at the Pill family orchard. The tree in front of you is an apple tree. It's lost productive six years ago, so that's why there's no apples on it now. But let's just hurry up and wait. Thank you. As I said earlier, the game of hunting is not always a win-win situation. If I didn't say it, just take that as advice. Um, but you just missed it. I couldn't get it on tape, but I just shot a buffalo. The horns on that sucker were 86 inches wide. That is one big buffalo, may I tell you what. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you just don't always win. Wait, what's that? I hear something in the weeds. Where did it go? Oh, gee, the bear's back. Roar! Oh, where'd it go? I can't see it. Oh, there it goes. Dead as a doornail. Or at least dead as a bad dare. A dead de bear. A dead bear. Spit it out, turbo. What'd you say? All right, let's do some more bird hunting. Hey, look, everyone. I think there's a tree stand. Maybe we could see something from up there. Oh, it's a beautifully made tree stand, probably made from one of the pill boys. Let's check it out. Okay. Dragon Slayer, everybody knows. Hi, how you doing? Everybody knows that you need a little target practice every once in a while. Matter of fact, I see two black magpies now. You just missed it. As I climbed up into the tree stand, I sat there and a bird flew by and I shot it. I promise, I shot it. It was great, but the camera wasn't functioning. So, we're back down here at the game preserve where the farmer kicked us out of. Don't tell him we're back, but we're just going to take a little target practice, so pay attention. A goose. I hit the sprinkler pipe, I'm dead. Oh crap. Shotgun, we got her. No, that was a far shot. I mean, that was, hold on. That was probably like 100 yards away. I mean, that's like 300 feet. That was huge far. I mean, you, can, you don't get that kind of range from a shotgun like this. I mean, it just doesn't happen. I mean, sometimes you get lucky. But that is a skillful shot performed by our very own John Pill. Thank you very much. And so now we just got to wait for a second. I mean, we got to let it ease down a little. We got to let it bleed off. You can't just go after them right away because they jump up and they take off and you have to, the meat, the meat gets tough and it's not as good to eat. And so we just have to hang low for a few minutes, but I think we got a good shot. I mean, I seen the bull go flew, fly, flew, flew, fly, fly, flew, fly, fly, fly through. That's what I'm looking for. We went through and definitely came out the other side and I seen a few feathers flying so that's definitely a good sign so let's just hang low for a few minutes and we'll check it out I right, see you bye oh let's just track it I thought I'd see it come by here so we just gotta check a lot around there it is. There it is. We got it. Oh, I didn't think we could get it. The spread on that monster. Oh, it's huge. I mean, we're looking for big feathers here. Big wingspan. Big eyes. I mean, these eyes. You wouldn't know that they were a bird if you didn't know if it was a bird. I mean, the eyes are huge. That's what we're looking for, and we just got to keep watching and waiting. That's the name of the game. Watch and wait, right? I tell you, the first of the movie. You're learning pretty good now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this session of 
hunting 6040. It's been super great to have you along, and I hope that you hang around and catch our next episode. Next week, we'll be in Canada hunting polar bears. I'm super excited because there's tons of great polar bears around. And actually, we got one final scene for you. I hope you like it, but um, I've really enjoyed being with you. So, have good, and remember, be safe. Then Charlie Joe Jack just got his first buck. It is a beauty. I mean, that deer is beautiful. I haven't seen one that big for so long. Don't mind the cars. Um, those were computer, computerly put in the cars um, because we thought it'd be cool. But yeah, Charlie just shot this buck. I mean, it's a 28 inch buck. It is huge. As you can tell from the ear span, I mean, you don't see bucks like that around too often. All right, well, um, yeah, it was a big buck. Congratulations, Charlie. Don't push, man. What's up? Um, thanks for coming. I just want to thank you all again for being here this hunting um, festival. It was great. I mean, the birds were good. The guns were firing. The everything was great. Um, I just want to welcome you. Thank you again, and say have a nice day. But first, I'd like to. Walk over here for a second, you know, just for the fun of it. Oh, jeez! What was I just, I just saw the bear again. Oh, there it is. Oh, where'd it go? Where is it? I don't want it to get me. I'm scared of bears. Oh, it's got me. I got it. And I got myself. Have a nice day.